All right, so it's 11.29, guys. Teresa here. It's nice to see so many familiar faces and a lot of new faces and people who were here from last week. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, today, what we'll need is our chair um, and we'll be using Dynabands and weight. So for the next minute or so, you can yeah gather up your um, gather up your equipment, and if you do not have weights, you can grab cans of soup, you can grab water bottles, and as I mentioned last week, you can even fill a sturdy plastic bag or a tote bag with books. You can alternate right hand, left hand, or if you can get to a two tote bags that are about the same weight and then flop, flip flop them. You know, one, at one set you would use the heavier one in the left hand and the lighter one in the right, or if you're not sure of the weight and then just switch it for the second set. Um, that actually adds a nice element of um, toning and core work if one side of your body's heavier than the other. Does somebody have a question? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. So um, as people, you know, start joining in, I know Michelle's going to be on for a while, just helping people get on and organized and situated, but it's 1130 and we'll go ahead and get started. So um, I have my chair. I'm going to place you guys so that you can see me. I have my chair at the ready and a dynamite dynaband or resistance band or tube. Um, just you can utilize an old tie or a belt. Um, but as we get started, uh, proper posture and ergonomics are so important in doing the exercises efficiently and optimally and safely. So if you're doing an exercise and you're rounded and your neck is over arched, it can actually really, um, you know, not either it may create a, a problem or and or it will not feel good and you might feel like oh I had a strain so to keep those at bay we don't need that uh, keeping that perfect alignment so your ankle knee and hip are like train tracks they're about hip width apart about 12 or so inches your heels are going to be slightly behind your knees you're seated at the edge of your seat on your sits bones so if you want to figure out where are my sits bones, you can take your hands, lift to the left, and then lift to the right, and have a seat. You'll feel, and you can gently rock forward and back. You should feel almost as if it's um, like a baseball bat or a baseball bat with a tennis ball on it. And it should feel like there's a little ball there. So that way you know you're sitting high up on the sits bones and not on your tush, so you're not hanging back back is rounded, you're sitting high on your sits bones, your natural S-curve spine is being maintained. There's a dip in the neck and a dip in the lower back. And then your pelvic bowl. Imagine the pelvis is a bowl of water. You don't want the water to be spilling out the back by being uh, rounded. And you don't want to be overly arched and have the back and the water spilling out the front. And keeping stability, right side, left side as well. You don't want to be tilted either. So trying to keep that bowl of water upright using your abdominal muscles, navel is coming in and up to support the abdominal. Shoulder blades are coming down and in to support the upper body. And with that, you have your ear, shoulder, and hip alignment. I think we're ready to go. Take a nice deep breath and exhale. And inhale, arms up, and exhale. Two more times, inhale, arms up, and exhale. One more, stretch that torso way, way up, and then exhale, relax, and then roll your shoulder back right and left. And I'm going to make sure everybody's muted, that we're participants are muted, and we can, and they are, and we can unmute ourselves at the end of class to have a little chat. And then we're rolling back four and three, two, and now you can lead with your elbow, bigger range of motion going slowly, a few more, feel the stretch in your chest, 
and then full backstroke. If this is comfortable, your thumb is pointing backwards. Thumb back, thumb back, and four more, and three, and two, and one. And then two deep breaths, arms up, and exhale. Once again, arms up, and exhale. And now relax your hands right on your thighs. Imagine you're holding onto a grapefruit, so your chin is gently down and slightly back. So you're not jutting forward and up, it's down and back. And you're just going to take your head and tilt it to the right, and then come up to center, tilt it to the left, and come up to center, tilt to the right, and center, and tilt to the left and center and then look right look right and center and left and center one more right and left and look center and then now with the legs take the right toe into the floor circle around that ankle the right ankle is circling around full range of motion you'll have a little movement in the knee and the hip as well and then reverse direction, circle inward. And a couple more. And now that we're all loosened up, we can take it a bit farther, go the opposite direction. Again, bigger range of motion. And go as slowly as you need to. Remember working through a nice, slow, controlled, pain-free range of motion is ideal. And then reverse, circle inward. And then take the left toe and circle around. So now your right leg is the stabilizing, balancing leg, and our left ankle is getting warmed up, knee and hip as well. And then reverse, take it in. And now that we're nice and warm, the synovial fluid is moving throughout the joints. We'll go again, opposite direction, a little bit bigger if you can. Increasing that range of motion keeping those joints flexible and lubricated, and then reverse one more time. And then hold the feet directly. We, we lost your video, audio. There we go. All right. Can you guys hear? We can't hear you. We... You're on and off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were hearing us. We heard you and then you just stopped. We still don't hear you. Can anybody hear anybody? I could hear you guys. You could, I hear everybody else talking, but I don't hear you. Right. I can hear everybody too, but I can't hear Teresa. Right. <laughs> yeah. My left leg is still turning. <laughs> Please tell us to stop. Oh, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Now we can hear you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, let me see. This Zoom is an issue. Can anybody hear anybody? Okay. All right. Yeah, for some reason I got muted and I couldn't unmute myself on the other screen, but I switched screens and I unmuted myself. I don't know what happened, but uh, I didn't touch the screen. <laughs> All right. So, um, you know, Zoom can be exciting. All right. So let's... Um, so I think we did both sides. We did both shoulders. We're good. We're good. Um, we'll just have to keep breathing and march it out. Take a nice deep breath. Inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. Two more times. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale 
and exhale and shake out arms and legs. And let's go ahead and grab our Dynavance. So we're going to continue the warm up and the stretch, but we're actually going to add some work. So please bring your Dynaband around the ball of the right foot, crisscross it, and then bring the uh, leg out in front. You can also elevate your leg if that's okay with your hip and your abs and lower back. And we're going to circle the ankle. So you can do this with your right ankle in the air. Or you can have your ankle rounded on the floor and circle through and circle. So circling around. If you do have the leg elevated, um, making sure that you're not moving the leg around. It's just the ankle. Feel the need to be unmuted. Unmute, please, everybody. Uh, I'm unmuted again. Okay. Okay. Can everyone still hear me? We yeah. can hear you, but yes, we, we also can. hear Michelle at the same yeah. time. Yes, we can hear you. So Michelle needs we to hear, to listen to Michelle, Michelle too. Michelle needs to unmute. Okay. 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 Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, it looks like all the participants are muted, and uh, Michelle is not muted. Yeah, and we hear Michelle. She's the one interrupting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. And I think M Michelle is now muted. <laughs> no offense, Michelle. We love you. <laughs> all right. But there was just a little weird feedback in, in the background. Um, and flex and point. Flex and point. Flex and point. And flex and point. And four more, three more, two more, and one. And now point the toe and hold. And flex the foot and hold. And relax. And now place the Dynaband around the opposite foot. So your heel is connected into the floor or elevated. If it's elevated, isolate the hip and knee. Just circle the ankle. Circle the ankle in whatever direction. Circle inward first. We'll hit both directions. And reverse. And reverse. And reverse. And flex and point. Flex and point. Flex and point. Warming up the ankle as we strengthen the ankle. Flexing and pointing with resistance. And four more, three more, two, and one. And then hold it and lower down. Let's go ahead and bring the right foot forward, left leg back, take the Dynaband and place it around your upper back. Shoulders are back, nice proud chest, and then exhale, crisscross and inhale. Now, if you do not have a Dynaband resistance band, a tube, um, you can actually use an old tie or a big long beach towel and try to get some resistance that way, just pressing out, resisting back, or quite honestly, imagine you have a Dynaband and you're pushing your arms through space, creating this internal resistance. And that really does help as well. It really engages the muscles. It's like you're punching forward in slow motion. And four more, and exhale. Four, three, last two, and one, hold it, hold it, and then slowly back. Remove the Dynaband, place it right around your right foot. We're going to do a second set of the ankle circles, ankle grounded or elevated, isolate the hip and the knee, and just circle the ankle, keeping the upper body very still and lifted, maintaining nice tall posture and reverse direction. So by adding sets and adding repetition, 
you're actually going to increase the ability of your body to strengthen and reverse. Other direction, increasing muscular strength and endurance two very, very important components of fitness. And then reverse direction again, circle and circle. Now, if your hip gets a little tired, take a little break, but otherwise keep it going. And then flex and point, flex and point, flex and flex, four more, three more, two and one. And then flex and hold. Lower that heel down. Continue to flex the foot and try to pull the leg back utilizing the dynaband or a belt or a towel. You're stretching or even a yoga strap if you happen to have a yoga strap. And inhale, exhale. Try to pull the toes in a little bit closer to your kneecap and try to pull, push your heel a little farther away from the back of the seat, from the chair, from the seat, and relax. And now we're going to take the left leg forward, place the dynaband around your upper back, second set of chest press. So your arms are nice and wide, shoulder blades contracted, and crisscross. Inhale and exhale. Nice, long, long spine. Inhale and exhale. Brace the core. Shh. Shh. Lengthen the spine. Shh. 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 Exhale on exertion. That's when the dynaband is stretching. Shh. Shh. Let's do four more. Shh. One more for extra credit and relax. Now take the Dynaband, place it around the left ball of foot, bring the leg up or keep the heel down and circle around, isolating the ankle. Do not move the hip, do not move the knee, just the ankle. And if it's a little too hard on the hip or knee, place the foot on the floor and reverse other direction. Keeping the spine tall and reverse. Other direction again. Adding sets, adding repetition, reverse, adding strength and tone. And one more time, circle and reverse. Last time, circle and reverse. And then hold it into a flex. Then flex and point, flex and point, flex and flex. Keep it going. Inhale, exhale. And four more, four and three and two and one. Now flex and hold, gently pull those, the balls of the feet and the toes up, lower the heel down, keep it elevated. It's up to you. Inhale, exhale, pull the toes into the kneecap, straighten the leg, push your heel away from your tailbone, straighten the leg, and then slowly bend the knee and lower the foot down. Take your Dynaband, feet hip width apart again, palms are forward and ahead, last set of lat pull down. Exhale, pull, and inhale, resist. Good, exhale, pull. This is a very exceptional wrist, elbow, and rotator cuff exercise. So by working with this style of resistance, a resistance band or two, you really put a lot of work into the joint of the area that you're working. So we're working our, our upper body, arms, chest, and back. So we're really working our wrist, elbows, and shoulders. Let's try eight more. If you find that it's a bit easy, you can just double up your Dynaband. Continue with more resistance. Adding load. Exhale, good. Exhale, keep going, try four more. Four and three, two and one. Woo, 
and relax. Place the Dynaband down. You can even put it at, at your chair back or a, a piece of furniture off to your off to the side and march it out. Inhale, arms up and exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, two more times. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, one more time. Inhale and exhale. Just a quick stretch break. Flex your palms. Roll the shoulders back, right ear to right shoulder. And feeling the stretch in the upper chest, neck, shoulder, and upper back. If you need a little more of a stretch, just place the weight of your right hand above your ear. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Release that arm. Bring the head center. Shake out your arms. Reposition them. Flex. Roll back and left ear to left shoulder. Chest is open. Shoulders and chest are stretching along with the neck and upper back. Take that left arm, bring it over the right ear. Feel that added stretch. Try not to yank or pull on the head or neck. Keep it very lengthened, open, relaxed with a little bit of resistance. And one more in and exhale. And then allow your arm to fall down gently, head up to center, place the hands on the thighs and we'll do a yoga move called the cat cow or um, cat camel and flexion, <laughs> flexion extension of the spine. Inhale and arch. I can't decide what animal I want to choose. <laughs> Inhale, arch and exhale and round. So I'll just stick with the scientific term, flexion extension of the spine. Inhale, arch flexion, exhale, round extension, and inhale, flexion, exhale, and two more times, exhale, one more, and then round it all the way up. Inhale, arms up. Interlace your arms over the head. Try to keep the arms as lengthened as you can without lifting your shoulders. So keep the shoulders down and back. Arms are long and then reach up and over to the right. So you're really expanding your um, lung capacity by opening up the rib cage front side and we'll get to the back in a second. So inhale, expand the lungs. Exhale, relax. Inhale and exhale. And then if you're comfortable with this, slightly angle your body towards the right thigh. Round your back a little bit, cave the chest in a little bit, knock my hat right off my head a little bit, and inhale, expand in the back. Breathe. Exhale, that feels so good. Inhale, breathe. Exhale, one more. And exhale, and then reach the arms up, 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 and then relax down. Shake out the arms. Let's do the other side. Inhale, arms up, interlace, reach all the way up, shoulders down, up and over, left side. And breathe. Continue to lengthen and continue to stretch. And now round the chest down towards the left thigh. Really open up the right side of the back. Stretch. Inhale, no scapular retraction here. You actually want the scapula to open, separate the scapula. One more breath. And then reach up, 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 up and relax down. Woo! All right, that's a workout. We got a lot of our upper body guys, did a really good job. Now let's get into the lower body. So we're starting off with some nice hip rotations, hip stability exercises. Reposition your tall lifted posture, sitting on your sit bones at the edge of your seat. Your hands are at the hips or the chair side or the thighs. Lifting that right leg 90 degrees, 90 degree angle, flexed foot up and then lower down. Lifting up and lower down. 
and exhale as you lift, inhale lower. Keeping the upper torso very lifted. So in other words, I'm not sinking into my leg or tilting, staying very lifted. And the only thing that's moving is my hip. This is very, very challenging to do seated. You can modify and do it standing. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Up and down. Up and down. Really working on the sartorius muscle, one of the longest muscles in the body. Hip flexors, psoas. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. And relax, take a nice deep breath. And exhale, one more inhale. And exhale, let's do the other side. So reposition your posture, hold, 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 and lift. 90 degree angle, left leg, just coming up and down. Upper thigh, sartorius muscle, hip flexors, psoas, core. You're working all of these mus muscles, muscles, muscles that help flex the hip. You can see why that tongue twister got me. And lift and lower. Eight more. Keep racing. Keep lengthening. Keep lifting. Take a break if this is getting too hard. Four more. Three, two, one. Relax. March it out. Inhale and exhale and inhale. And exhale. So the reason I started with that is because this is a very, very challenging exercise. Please do a second set. Or you can do something a little milder, a sit to stand. How about that? So seated at the edge of your seat, you're either doing the leg, the knee flexion again, or we're doing 20 sit to stands. Ay, ay, ay. You're bracing your core. Your ankles are underneath your hamstring towards the chair. Inhale, push into the heels and come up. Slowly down. Exhale, up and down. Making sure your hips, knees, and ankles are like train tracks. Your knees do not kiss. Your knees do not bow. They're keeping right in line with your hip. Optimal hip knee ankle tracking. And exhale. Let's add a little something with our arms. Reaching up and down. Or reaching all the way and down. Adding variety. Let's go for 10 more. Stretch, exhale, lengthen. Five more guys, drive the hips forward and up, drive the hips back, drive the hips forward and up, drive the hips back. Three more. And down, woo! Inhale, march it out. And exhale, and inhale. Exhale, last one, inhale, and exhale. Shake out your arms and legs. Now, grab your weights or grab your cans of soup or water bottles or bags filled with books. Um, I'm gonna reach over and grab my weights. When you lift the weights, it's an exercise. Please be careful utilizing proper ergonomics and posture so you don't strain your shoulders, hips, or back. Take the right foot forward slightly, left leg back, palms are facing outward. And then hold on and grip onto that center bar, unless it doesn't feel comfortable for your hands. And then curl the wrist under a little bit. Chest is tall, exhale and lift, and inhale lower. 
exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Keeping the shoulders down. Chest open, back of the shoulder blades contracted. Deep, deep contraction. Keep going. Squeezing the front part of the upper arm, the bicep, the shoulder, and a bit in the forearm as well. Keep going. Both arms up and down. Good. Let's go for eight more. Looking good, everyone. Keep it going. Keep squeezing. Let's go for four more. Four, three, two, and one. And then place the weights right on the thighs. Stack your feet so both heels are slightly behind your knees. Hinge forward from a dowel in your hip forward. Lift your heels up and down. Press. Press, and lift, lift. You're pressing the big toe and all the other four little piggies right into the floor. Press it, the balls of the feet pressing into the floor. Continue to press the hands that are weighted down onto your thighs. Avoid the kneecap, but right on the thigh muscle. Four more, three more, two, and one, and relax. Now bringing your arms in a 90 to a 90 degree angle. So if your arms are relaxed by your side, you're just bringing them up 90 degrees. Roll the shoulders back, and you're going to open up the arms, open two, and close two. Open two, comfortable range of motion. We're working on the rotator cuff, keeping the wrist neutral. Arms are fixed. So your forearm perfectly parallel to the ceiling and the floor. My wrist is in line with my elbow and my arms maintain a 90 degree angle. And just open and close. Smooth it out a little bit. Comfortable range of motion. Let's do a handful more. And neutral, and then place your weights right on your thighs. Hinge forward for our second and final set of heel raises. Shoulders are back, and lift the heels up and down, up and down. So I'm pitching forward just a little bit, maintaining ear, shoulder, hip alignment, adding pressure of my hands on the thighs, and lifting my heels as high as I can. Lift, lift, working on the soleus and the gastroc, back of the lower leg, last eight, seven, Four more. And relax. Woo! Shake out the legs. Nice work. Let's do our second and final set of bicep curls. Palms are out. Curl the wrists under. Roll the shoulders back. Here we go. Oh, left leg forward, right leg back. Sorry. Almost forgot to switch. Here we go. And it's up and down. Proud chest. Neutral wrists, elbows close to the waistline, shoulder blades contracted. Eight more, proud chest, chin to chest. On the last five, squeeze that center bar, squeeze it. Work on grip strength. Two more, and one more all the way up, hold it, and then lower down slowly. Slowly all the way down. 
and relax. Good. Place the weights on your thighs. Roll your shoulders back a bit. And then take your right heel forward. And you're going to tap the toe. And tap it. Try to, you can use the up tempo, but nothing too, too, like nothing too fast and small. Try to go medium tempo and really flex your toes up. Flex, flex, feeling that tibialis anterior, that shin muscle. And four more, three, two, and one. Other foot, so bring the right leg back, left leg forward, and tap. Go slow, flex your foot way up high. Big range of motion, zeroing in, focusing on the tibialis anterior. Put your mind's eye in this outer lower leg muscle. Four more, three more, two more, and one. Good. Feet back to hip width apart. Palms are facing in. We have our 90 degree angle arms, and we're going to open out for two and close for two. Back to rotator cuff. So when you're finished with the workout today, with this hour long workout, you will have banked in two to four sets for each body part. Working the body thoroughly, getting each and almost each and every body part throughout the whole hour. And let's go for eight more. Very important to use a comfortable pain-free range of motion. Feeling the muscles deep in that shoulder joint. Stretching the chest, working the back. Two more, and last one, and one. And then bring the weights down, roll the shoulders back, and reverse, and relax. Okay, you can put these weights down, or you can use them for another sit to stand. Now, those of you who are not interested in sit to stands, um, you can do another set of heel raises and another set of toe taps. So I would do 10 heel raises and then five toe taps on the right foot, five toe taps on the left. But if you'd like, hold on to your weights or you can place them down, sit to stand. You're on the edge of your seat, your heels are back, shoulders down, and come up and then down, and two. Using the arms slowly with control increases the workout cardiovascularly and strength-wise, working the front shoulders and chest. Making sure the knees do not knock, Train track legs. On the last 10, you can go full range. 10, go slow. Nine. Use your muscles to be in control keeping it safe, strong, and slow. Last five, five, modify if you need to, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Place the weights on your thighs, march it out a little bit, and without further ado, let's keep that cardio going. Take your right foot forward, left leg back, palms are in. Inhale, exhale, pull the elbows up and down. You're in a bent over row. So you're taking that perfect S-curve posture that was here, and you're just hinging down about 10 degrees. The right foot is forward, left leg back, supporting 
your body weight and the forward flexion. Let's go for 10 more. 10, 9, 8. Keep pulling the abdominals in. Last five. And abs tight, come back to starting position. Keep your feet hip width apart, using the weights or putting them down for a break. Roll the shoulders back, palms are facing your ears. Exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale. Weighted arms above the head and heart increases your cardio. So we're really working on our cardiovascular fitness and endurance. Expanding the lung capacity, that's so important. Get the lungs trained to expand. Keeping the wrists neutral, elbows wide. Last five. and relax, Woo! roll the shoulders back. Last sit to stand, so keeping our cardio going. You can, again, modify doing heel raises, toe taps, or sit to stand, seated on the edge of your seat, shoulders back, weights or no weights, here we go. It's up and down. Drive your weight into your heels, engage your glutes, the buttock muscles, drive it, squeeze it, drive it, squeeze it. You want a little more of a workout? You know what to do. Either arms half or full in a controlled manner. Or cross your arms across your chest. If that doesn't feel comfortable, modify. If it's starting to get a little too much with the weights, put them down. Otherwise, we have eight more. Seven. Just a handful more, guys. You're almost done. And one more. And to keep that cardio going, we just worked our legs, let them take a break. Now let's get the upper body. Left leg forward, palms in, hinge from a dowel in your hip, 10 degrees, here we go. Chin to chest. Open the chest, keep the abdominals tight and the core braced. Open the chest, looking good. Last 10. Handful more. Keep the abdominals tight. Keep squeezing that shoulder blade. Crack that walnut. Woo! Two more. And one. And last exercise to keep that cardio going. Feet hip width apart. Palms are facing in. Exhale, overhead press. Arms weighted over the head is a core exercise. So you're working your abdominals, you're working your spine, you're working your core. And it also gets your cardio. It's hard for the heart to pump blood above itself. So it has to work harder. That's where a higher heart rate will come and you'll be strengthening that cardiovascular system, making it stronger. And eight more. Shh. Take a break if you need. Just a handful more, hang in there. Keep breathing. Two more, one more. And slowly down, put the weights down slowly, safely. 
proper ergonomics. Woo! And march it out. Inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale and pump your arms. March with toes inward. Toes forward. Toes out. Hands on the hips, toes forward. Three, tap your toe to the side, tap right and left. Both arms go out and out. If you can and you're not too tired, try doing both legs. Only if it's comfortable. Otherwise, modify. Woo! Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. March left, left, right. Inhale up and exhale. And inhale up and exhale. Two more. Exhale. And jacks on the other side, tap left and right, arms reach. I'm gonna take a peek, I see some videos out there. Looking good, looking good. Go Jennifer, go Jennifer, looking good. And those of you who have pictures look very nice. I love it. Very, very interesting choices on some, I love it. Keep going. And eight, seven, six, Five or both, four, three, two, one. And march it out, right, left, inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Nice job. So we worked a little of our legs and our core and our cardio. So now we're gonna dial it back and start with strength training again. So we're going to do a combination of chest press, tricep exercise. Right foot slightly forward, left leg back, just slightly, maybe four inches in front of the toe um, and staggered, staggered feet. Hands are on the thighs, shoulders back, pressing your chest forward with resistance into your palms on the thighs, and then straighten up. So you bend, we're doing a push up, and then straighten up. Your elbows bend and go out to the side, and you straighten. My fingertips are on the inside of my thighs, but if you're more comfortable with palms and fingers flat pointing towards the knees, that's fine. Inhale and exhale, adding your own resistance. Press down, press up, four more. Press down, press up, press down, press up, last two. And one more, and press, shake out your arms, shake out your legs. Keep the feet even. I'm going to give you a side view. Your fingertips are now hanging over the edge of your chair, if that's the type of chair you have. If not, they can just be flexed and fingers out to the side. And then roll the shoulders back, scapular retraction. Try to lift your tush off the chair. So shoulder blades contracted, straighten the arms and lift your tush up and slowly lower down. Lift the tush up and slowly lower down. Keep the shoulders down. Lift the tush up and slowly lower. Let's do four more. Lift and down and three and down. Try not to cave in, open the chest. Two and down. One more, up and down. And now let's do our second and final set of chest press. Take the left leg forward slightly, hands on the thighs, fingertips coming on the inside of your thighs, shoulders down and back. Bend your elbows, press the heels of palm into thighs, and then straighten them up. Press and bend, straighten and lift. Press and bend, straighten and lift. This is also very good for the core. Feel your abdominals, feel your back. Last eight. 
and seven, and six, and five. Handful more, guys. We're almost done. One more. And then march it out. Inhale, arms up. Woo! And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Shake out your arms and shake out your legs. Let's focus a little on the hip as well. So we're going to do a, a little bit of a rotation. If it's a little too challenging seated, please do it standing. You're going to lift your flexed right foot 90 degrees up. Rotate the knee inward and outward, in, up, and down. So lift, rotate from your hip in, out, in, up, and down. Lift, rotate in, rotate out. It's in, lift up, lower, and lift in, and out. Lift in, up, and down. Four more, it's in, and out. Center up, down, it's in and out, and center down and up and down, in and out, in, up, down. Last one, in and out, in, up, and down. Two deep breaths, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Let's do the other side. So regroup with your posture. Lift it up, flex the foot, and then rotate in, out, in, up, and starting position. In, out, in, up, and down to starting position. In, out, in, up. And this is all done in that ball and socket joint in the hip. If you've had any issues in the hip or surgeries, Modify and always listen to your doctor, surgeon's, physical therapist's recommendation. Always, always. Always working through a pain-free range of motion. Let's do four more. Three more. Two more. One more. And relax, march it out, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Let's come up to our feet and do one final exercise standing. Um, actually, it's a two for one. Um, we're going to do a back leg extension and a heel raise. So your right leg is back. Shoulder blades contracted, your torso is pitched forward, and your head, hands are holding on a sturdy, on the edge of your sturdy chair. Flex your foot and curl that ankle into the buttock and then out. So right into the glute muscle and then out. So we're working our extension extensors, the glutes. The gluteus and extensors are supporting that leg back there, keeping the leg back. And now contracting, flexing that heel, you're bringing your, uh, engaging your hamstring. And we'll do four more, three more, two more, and one. And then relax, facing the chair. I'm gonna face you so you can kind of see. Heel raises, non-weighted heel raises, up and down, and it's up and down and up and down. Four more, three more, two, and one. And then let's change sides. So I'm just gonna flip my chair over. I'm standing on my right leg now. My left leg is extended. Tall spine, braced core. Move the leg back due to glute and extensor. And you're going to curl that flexed left foot right into the buttock and extend it out, engaging your hamstring, going slow. Imagine you're pushing against a body of water that's creating resistance. Keep pulling the abs in, continue to squeeze the glutes. Eight more. Relax. 
Last a handful more. One more. And down. And then our last final set of heel raises. So feet are hip width apart. Ankles, knees, hips slightly flexed, but long and contracted. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. So in other words, you don't want to jam or strain the joint. They should be, the joint should be open and contract the muscles around that open joint. And lift. And lift. Good. Four more. Three more. Two more. And one. And down. Have a seat. I'm going to check the time. It is time to stretch. You guys did a full hour. Um, we have four more minutes, but let's stretch it out. Nice deep breath. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Flex your palms. Roll the shoulders back. Right ear to right shoulder. Stretching the neck, upper chest, upper back, shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Hold the head at this position on the right side and just tuck your chin right towards your shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And roll the head center. Look straight ahead. Shake out your arms. Inhale, arms up. And exhale. Flex your palms. So we're stretching our elbow flexors, forearms, biceps, front shoulder and chest while we're stretching the head and neck. Inhale. Back of the shoulders. Shoulder blades contracted. Shoulders down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, and just look down past your left thigh. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Roll the head center and look straight ahead. Flex the right heel forward, and then from the imaginary dowel in the hip, you're just bringing your body forward. Leading with the breastbone, shoulders down, chin to chest. Inhale. Drive the heel out a little farther. Bring your toes to your kneecap. Open joints without straining. Slight, slight flex around each joint, just so the muscles have a way to support that joint. And then slowly ease back, point the toe, hinge forward, stretching the top of the foot, the shin, inner thigh. And then slowly up. And then just uh, let's go into our 90 degree angle, two 90 degree angle legs, flexed perpendicular back foot, knee in line with hip, squeeze your left glute and push your left hip forward for upper quad hip flexor psoas. Inhale, arms up, exhale, interlace your arms, roll the shoulders back, chin to chest, inhale, Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Relax, and let's do the same thing on the other side. So left heel is forward. Hinge from your hip, come on down. Breastbone lengthening about a foot or so above your flexed foot. Inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Ease back a little bit, point your toes, inhale, and exhale. Just tuck your chin down a little bit, perfect. Looking good, Jennifer, that's it. Inhale, and exhale, and in, and out. And then slowly up to 90 degree angle legs. So you've got your 90s, your perpendicular foot, curl those toes so that you're stretching the top of the toes as well as that the arch, plantar fascia. Inhale, arms up, exhale down. Interlace your arms, open up the chest, lengthen and forward pressure. So lengthen up and press forward. Inhale and exhale, inhale 
and exhale. Release the arms facing front, hands on the thighs. Two more flexion extension exercises and you're done. So inhale, arch and exhale and round. So flexion, extension, flexion, extension, and flex, and extend. Roll it up. We're going to do the same flexion extension in a lateral plane. So the right hand holds on to the right thigh, bring the left arm up, over to the right. So flexion, extension, just in the lateral plane. Inhale, reach, exhale, reach. Inhale, reach, and exhale, reach, stretch, stretch, stretch. Abs are tight, reach that right arm up, 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 and over to the other side. Then reach that right arm up, left arm down, shoulders down. Extension and flexion, reaching, reaching. Inhale, exhale, one more in. Exhale, reach the arms up, and exhale. Three closing breaths, inhale. And exhale, two more, in, and exhale. This one's for you. Breathe in, palms in, close your eyes if you'd like, and channel that workout however you'd like. And shake out any last bit of tension. It is 1230-ish, and you guys did a great job. Thank you so much. I see a lot of clapping hands. That's great. I'm going to try to unmute you guys.